Continue. Yeah, we're going the right way. Nothing. Oh. Alright. What's going on with all these elementals? We shall overcome. Three. Miss Slam. You're gonna come Enjoy anyway, so let's go. I farted to fail. That must be from the. Yep, exposed vulnerabilities. Twenty six. Are you serious? What is happening, my guy? Anything in her? I just do a doom. Surrender or else. Demoralize, not doom. See it. No glory without risk. Close. Why? 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 Do not hold back. I don't know these shadow that what's the minus ten for that shadow thing is. But on the damage. Then we kill Oh, it's here. And it's still throwing. Make every strike count. Darren, please walk forward. I don't understand why he's... Was it at the beginning of every round? I'm not understanding what is happening with you. Is it? The entire first round of combat, that should be it. Smile. 
The world's not ending just All yet. Right. Something slow. Miss Seven. What is happening? Oh, guess you have to go here. I do want to see over in his normal. So I need to fight him in his normal form just to see how it goes. At least in one fight. <laughs> At least one fight that I actually pay attention to. There we go. Everybody, we need everyone here. So everyone get in their places. Let's see. Yeah, that's correct. Actually, uh, there we go. You're technically a combat, a uh, melee fighter. something we didn't take and that's why we didn't take it what Marco did was unthinkable and he used to be such a nice guy he never even got drunk what we have that Where is he? But did he kill him? Please don't say we got here too late. He murdered the... He murdered the freaking cleric. I wonder what will happen to him now. I wonder if we can save... Where is he? I wonder if we could have saved them. We were probably on a time frame. Too late for apologies. Did we find trouble? No, they did.
charge. Oh, nope, you can't charge. Let's go here. Breath weapon. Can actually charge. Not bad. Forty. the wrong month. Are you making the saving throw? She was. We can see in oh, she's fine. Marching. the reflex save and then land you won't survive me there we go what okay I'm gonna say that was a one time thing. Commander, the cleric is lying on the river bank. The sand is soaked with his butt. Save, save Melissa. What happened? 
this village so beautiful so peaceful so many good people living here but remember but something has been wor worrying me since the day i came here i couldn't stop thinking about all the strange rituals in the grove and all the word conversations about firstborns being doomed to die i tried not to think too much about it if the villagers were not willing to embrace the faith of Eras erasto i didn't want to appear judgmental but i was wrong i should have trusted my instincts this is a great there is a great evil at work in this village when Melissa and I decided to get married, she told me she wanted to do it under the rights of Aristel. I hadn't asked her to do that, but she had already made up her mind. I was just, it was entirely her decision. She asked me not to tell Markel about it, and we tried to keep things quiet, but he found out about it anyway. Well, he grew more and more gloomy with every passing day. I did not understand what was going on until Melissa finally told me the truth, something that everyone else in the village knew except for me. Locals perform their wedding rites upstream from the aisle on the, on a boat. The bride is supposed to take off her wreath and send it floating down the stream when she recites a horrible, profane oath that I do not wish to repeat. You see, when she gives away her wreath, she also promises to give her firstborn to the river. Body, mind, and soul. It may not happen right away. It may take years, but in the end, the river always takes away what belongs to it. And Markel, he is a few minutes older than Melissa. Do you see? The dying man whispers ho hoarsely. You can hear the anguish in his voice. The people of Chili Creek believe that they worship the river, but those rites are not druidic in nature. They are not the rituals of the green faith. Are the cultic practices of some minor deity? No, this malevolent force, whatever it is, has a physical presence in this world. Marco has lost his mind. His parents swore to give him to, his to this monster, and now it has deprived him of his sanity. He took Melissa to the aisle. That's probably where the monster lives, and where sacrifices to it are made. So the sacrifice. What must? What must I do to save Melissa? Melissa. Markel took her to Pike Finn. It is an aisle in the middle of the river. You can see it from here. Indeed, if you look closely, you can see a small rocky isle, partially obscured by the river mist. Something drove him insane, the evil that has controlled this village for all these years. It lives on the isle. Take one of the boats from the village and set her free. So the bridal wreath is part of the ritual? Not exactly. The locals are decent people. They don't kill their children with their own hands. The wreath is a sign of obedience. The future parents agree that the river will take their firstborn whenever it wants. It has the right to take their bodies or their minds. It can summon them at any time and demand services from them. And sometimes the river exercises that right. There is more. Marco was the firstborn son, the older twin. When he did this to me, he wasn't himself anymore. I believe that the river took control of him. Whatever monster the locals worship has been controlling his thoughts and actions. Who did this to you? Marco. He wounded me and threw me into the river. I guess he thought I'd drown, but somehow I made it back to the shore. Perhaps it was the old dead eye himself who helped me so that I could speak to you. The cleric is having difficulties breathing. Marco. But it isn't his fault. He hasn't been himself. The evil of the river has driven him insane. He must be stopped at all costs. But if he can, if it's at all possible, try to save him too. You need help. No. It is too late for me. I have already heard Erastus' honey horn. My God is waiting for me. All I ask is that you save my wife. My journey through this world. The cleric can barely speak. He coughs up blood. And it continues weekly. My journey is over. Darren can heal you, my guy. I mean, even Ember can heal you. Maybe Sila. We can heal. Like you're making her a widow, a widow right now. Ugh. Rest in peace. Save her. The cleric's breath is shallow and ragged. His quivering. His quivering lips go still, his eyes close, and he passes away to his god. That's annoying. That is freaking annoying. Endure this! Did we step on their toes as well?
Let's see. Bone shaker won't help with that. Snake to go that far? Volcanic storm. Land, come on. Make every strike count. You got this. Well, you don't. But I will do this. Did it not go off? I mean, look at that. You would think that he would be like, maybe the old stag brought me here so you can save me. But no. That's annoying. Um, let's say go get a boat. Let's see about the boat. Oh, wait, what is this? Not hesitate. Oh, we fought, we found this already. Need a boat, maybe this boat. That boat looks better. Who's gonna let us use a boat? Ooh! I want this boat. Sail the island. What is more dangerous, the unpredictability of nature or the hostile intentions of another? The malevolent force hiding on this isle. Is as wild, volatile, and ruthless as the natural world, but it also has a cunning intelligence, a devious and vindictive desire to keep away unwanted visitors. As soon as the commander reaches for the oars, the water around the boat turns into a thick sheet of ice that freezes the vessel in place. What will the commander do now? Huh. 
This would obviously work. Try to break the ice. I don't want to do. Dump it through a nearby boat and push it away to shore before it freezes too. The commander swiftly leaps into a different boat and pulls away from shore. The ice, the cold ice, suddenly melts away, releasing the banks of the river from its frigid grasp. The commander sets off for the shore of the small rocky isle, but her journey does not go unnoticed, and it seems that someone on the isle does not like uninvited guests. Suddenly, the mist that rises from the surface of the river thickens into a dense cloud of fog. It blinds the commander and obscures her surroundings. Where is the shore? Where is the isle? The fog is so thick that the commander cannot see even the oar she is holding in her, in her hands. What will the commander do now that she is blinded by fog? Low? I feel like lore. Fair Ranger. I'm not doing that, obviously. Maybe we could do perception. But tip her hand into the water and pay, and pay close attention to the current. The fog river will reveal the direction she needs to go. Those who have experience on the water do not navigate solely by sight. They can feel the current beneath their vessel, just as the runner feels the land beneath their feet. The commander steers the boat forward with confidence. She knows that she has set she knows that she has set the right course. A light breeze slowly begins to dissipate the cloud of fog. The boat is headed straight towards the island. It does not. It will not be long before the commander reaches the black rocky shore of the Pike Fen. The rocky isle is desolate and bare, blue-gray lichen, and a few sparse, straggling weeds are all that survive on its black rocky shore. Further inland, the entrance to a cave, uh, the entrance to a cave, gapes open like a toothless mouth. Suddenly, a violent gust of wind sweeps out from the entrance of the cave towards the river. The water, which was calm only moments ago, begins to swell into massive foaming waves that threatens to smash the boat into a boulders along the coast. How will the commander reach the shore? I'm not caught out the unseen force. I'm not doing that, but throw out either mobility or world. Well, that's an instant success though. An attempt to latch into the rocky shore. Or steer the banks towards the waves and navigate the, round, the rocks with the firm and skillful hand. Throw an anchor towards the coast and attempt to latch into the rocky shore. The anchor catches hold of the black rocks along the shore. The rope goes taunt and the commander is able to safely disembark. The moment the boat touches the shore, the storm subsides as suddenly as it started. It is hard to believe that only moments ago, this calm, lazy river was a maelstorm of raging waves and rushing currents. The air is still and peaceful. The howling gales and roaring winds have completely subsided. The isle looks calm, but so did the river. Looks can be deceiving. The lichen-covered black boulders cover the shore. Along the shore, do not look like they have ever, do not look like they have ever been disturbed. It would be easy to assume that this isle is inhabited. There are no bones or traces of any rituals, but after moving far further inland, the commander sees Merkel's boat. It has been carefully pulled up onto the shore behind, beyond the reach of the waves. Noises can be heard from within the cave ahead. There is a shrill, angry voice followed by the sound of a woman's scream. Okay. Let's go. Poor Merkel. Markel. Markel. He loves his sister. I have managed. Can't hide from me. I was successful in That's search. freaking annoying. Is quite a 
I will see this through. We gotta do this. The deed is done. <sighs> I was successful in my search. The deed is done. That is quite a discovery. Are you serious? I have managed. The deed want is all done. the XP, so we're going all the way around. I was successful in my search. The deed is done. I have managed. Guess that's everything. The deed is done. We have All right. No right. What? Are these witches? The cave is dark and co the cave is cold and dark. The ground is covered in fog, and an icy current of air flows towards you from the depths of the cave. Water drips from the ceiling, and dim ladders cast grotesque shadows on the walls. All these years, we've been worshipping the three of you. All our prayers to the icy rill, and all our sacrifices, oh gods, and our children. It's been you the whole time? Melissa is huddled in a corner, clasping a withered wreath of grass and flowers to her chest. She looks like she's been crying. Standing in front of her are three horrifying old hag. Marco sit at their feet like a faithful dog. And what's so wrong with this child? The old woman's skin is even whiter than her hair, and her breath hangs in the air like an icy mist. Her voice is kind, but her gentle words lack sincerity. Beneath her friendly exterior, she is as cold and ruthless as ice. Do not wish to bring any harm to you or your brother, but unfortunately, you have not, give, you have not given us what we are owed. Deliver to the river what is rightfully hers, and both of you can live in peace. You've all, you're always so soft, Levixia. The hag voice sounds like a roar of the wind during the storm. Her skin is covered in spidery blue veins, and her eyes flash like lightning. Do what you're told, the lass. Hand over the wreath or face the consequences. You can't escape us. You can run, but you can't hide from old Latinda. Lorinda, Lavixia, my sisters, do you hear me? Do you know that what is destined to happen must happen this old woman speaks in a whisper her blind eyes are as cloudy as the fog on the river but she turns and points her finger at you resident resolutely resolutely look who has arrived this is the one whose face was revealed to us in the dark waters she's arrived already well that's a surprise the old woman clucks approvingly. We dislike uninvited guests, but you're clearly strong, agile, and smart. We appreciate those qualities in a person very well. Since you're here, you might as well come in. Nah, why would I? Well, it will be Darren. So, <laughs> Melissa, are you all right? Commander, ever still be praised. Those, those they, those things drove Markel crazy. Made him kill my husband. I, I don't understand what they want. Please save us. So you praise the old stag now, ungrateful child, who have kept you fed and protected you from every danger. Did your mother worship the old hunter? How about your grandmother or your grandmother before her? Did they offer him? Did they offer him praise? I think not. The hag shakes her hoary head in disapproval. A little village with important traditions. Land grimaces. Old traditions that are honored and respected by everyone. Now why does that sound familiar? 
Who are you? Who are we? Perhaps we are the waves of the river, or the fish in the deep. Perhaps we are the mist on the water. Are we solid ice or a raging storm? Why do you ask a question when you already know the answer? Latinda's eyes are bl stare blindly off into the distance. Haven't we already met between the two shores? My sister is wise, but she is but she likes to speak in riddles. Lavexia's icy blue lips curl into a amicable amicable smile. We are the three maidens of the river, generous to those on the water and revered by those on the land. We fill nets with fish. We keep the filth of the abyss away from our people, and we ask for very little in exchange. Ungrateful mortals, Lorinda stomps her feet. We do everything for them, and what do we get in return? Nothing. Instead of being thanked for our protection, these ingrates have started praying to some old bowmen. Marco? Vexia reaches down to give the man at her feet a pat on the head. He is absolutely fine. He is a good boy, an obedient boy. He respects his elders, never talks back, and has respect for his mother river. Isn't that so? Marco's face is contorted in pain. You can see the desperation in his eyes as he struggles against the power that has seized control of his mind. Help me. Save my sister from me. The river will take. The river always takes what belongs to her. So you've been deceiving the villagers. They think they worship the river. They have no clue what they're actually sacrificing to th that they're actually sacrificing the three hags. Is this deceit? They pray to the river. Are we not the embodiment of a river? They make sacrifices. Do we not accept them? And when they ask for help, do we not help? Well, that's gratitude for you, mortals. <laughs> we stay awake all night out of concern for those well for their well well being. We fend off demons so they can feel safe. But instead of appreciating our efforts, they call us liars. It was not up if it was up to me, I'll make you I'd Ugh The hag shakes her fist. You shouldn't you should have you shouldn't insult us like that. We find your accusa accusations offensive. We are not mortal tricksters pretending to be gods. We are one with the river. The villagers the villagers who the villagers have agreed to pay the price for our help. We offered them a fair bargain. The hag stares at Melissa coldly. This stupid girl decided to cheat us. If anyone here has fallen victim to, de to deception, it's us. So what exactly are you doing now? I don't know. They did something to Marco. They made him kill Jarnog. And then they ordered him to bring me here. And now, now they want... We don't want much, child. Just your wedding wreath. Give it to us, and the two of you can leave in peace. After all, we have protected you from all kinds of calamities. We have provided your village with food. Don't we deserve your respect and gratitude for our gifts when well, you begrudge us the one thing we ask of you? Why do you need it? Melissa wipes away her fears. You've killed my husband. I'm a widow now. And why do you need my wedding wreath? Ooh. You recall Janog's word. When the villagers cast away their wreaths, they promised to give their firstborn to the river. Why would the hags want a widow to? Why would the hags want a widow to complete this ritual? There, co there can only be one answer. Melissa doesn't know it yet, but she must be pregnant with the firstborn child. How do you manage to take control of his mind? How does the river control the leaf that falls into the stream? How does the sky control the fog that rolls in off the waters? We didn't do anything. We didn't have to. He is a firstborn, and that means he belongs to us. In fact, he was promised to us before he was born. We kept him alive because we thought he might prove useful, and we were right. The river is patient. She does not need to hurry. She can take what belongs to her whenever she wants. Oh boy. That's right. He belonged to us before he was even born. He'll do whatever we want we tell him to do. Lorinda shrieks with laughter. Hmm. I feel like I need to do this. I really do need to do this. But I feel like if I do that, we'll lose out on this one. 
Huh. So what should we do? Can we save? I want to save Markel. He's not going to be happy after he, when he realizes what he's done, but. Resist them. Don't let them control you. You must be strong for your sister. Sister, my little sister. I shouldn't. I won't let them. Wait. What's going on? Let's go. Are you trying to repair to rebel against us, boy? Don't forget, you will belong to us for as long as you live. You cannot get rid of us, no matter how hard you try. We just have to say the word and you will be under our control. Oh, are you gonna kill him? Marco Crops grabs the stone from the cave floor and attacks the hag. You hear a disgusting crunch sound as Marco smashes the rock in the hag's arms. Into the hag's arms. The hag shrieks and lashes out at the man, dealing him a powerful blow that causes him to fall to the floor unconscious. Kill them, sisters. Oh, that's not what I wanted. No, no. Normally, I don't like reloading. I really don't. But that is not what I wanted. So I guess we have to tell her that she's pregnant. <clears throat> and then we'll go from there. Maybe? I don't know. Let's do this again. Oh, I, I know you're lying. Oh, that's annoying. Together we stand. I thought I saved after this. I have managed. I was successful in my search. Our path leads on. Deed is done. Okay. That is quite a discovery. I was successful in my search. The deed is done. I have managed. The deed is done. That is quite a discovery. The deed is done. I have managed. I was successful in my search. The deed is done. Uh, really? That's the whole setup. I will guide us. Are you yawning? 
But I guess we technically well I I'm resting I think twice. But it's some um, it's kind of a break. Oh nope 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 nope. Save. <laughs> 